What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here, moving on to the next word problem. So to ease the pain of inflation on consumers, producers will sometimes change the quantity of a product as well, in addition to the price. So for example, let's say that a one liter bottle of shampoo costs $9 initially. Then with inflation, a producer may drop the price to $8, but they'll also drop the size to 800 milliliters. So with that scenario right there, what we got to do is we got to find the percentage change in price, size, and then price per milliliter. And the effects of inflation are going to be shown in this portion, in the actual price per milliliter of the shampoo. Because notice that if we just look at the price, notice that the price actually goes down. So just in general, percentage change and anything is equal to what? It's equal to the new value minus the old value all over the old value. And this would give you the, de uh, the decimal change, so you would have to multiply this by 100 right, to get the percentage change. So if we want the percentage change in price, as I said, notice that the price is actually going down. right? With inflation, the price is usually going up. But what they're doing is they are dropping the price, but they're also dropping the size. And so again, we're going to see the effects of inflation when we do number three. But if we just look at price itself, we got the old price minus, or sorry, the new price, which is $8 minus the old price of nine divided by the old price of nine multiplied by 100. And when you get, and when you do this, you would get negative 11.11%. So that's the uh, change in price right there. So you end up getting negative one here over nine times 100 gives you that percentage. Now the percentage change in uh, size or quantity well, notice it started off at one liter, which is the same as 1,000 milliliters, and then it dropped down to 800 milliliters. So the new size is 800, the old size is 1,000, and then you multiply that by 1,000. So you'd get negative 200 over 1,000, which would give you negative 0.2 multiplied by 100, that would give you negative 20%. Like that. So even though the price went down, they're dropping the size as well. Right? So it kind of eases the effects of inflation. So instead of just upping the price of that same bottle from $9, they'll drop the price, but then they'll also drop the size. So watch what happens when we look at it in terms of uh, the price per milliliter, when we look at it relatively, well, first we gotta find the price per milliliter of both of these. So we got um, initial price per milliliter, we got $9, and we get 1,000 milliliters for that. So when we divide this, we would end up with $0.009 per milliliter. And then after inflation, let's call it the final amount, the price per milliliter would be $8 for 800. Sorry, I put 8,800 milliliters. And when we do that, we would end up with $0.01 per milliliter. So notice when we look at it per milliliter, on a per milliliter basis, the price actually went up. And so now we do a percentage change with these two values. So the percentage change in price per milliliter would equal the new value, 0 0.01, minus the old value, 0 0.009, divided by 0 0.009. And then we take that, multiply it by, 100. And then when we do this, we would end up with 0 0.001 over here divided by 0 0.009, which is like 1 over 9, 
multiplied by 100, and that would give us positive 11.11%. Right, so notice that it went up. So that's where the effect of the inflation is. So notice that that percent, uh, there was a percentage increase in the price per milliliter. So if we just looked at the price, it goes down. The size, it goes down as well. But then when we actually look at the price per milliliter, it's actually going up. And so that's where those uh, effects of inflation are shown.